video I wanted to film an everyday makeup look because I haven't filmed one of these in ages basically just like what I do every single day I thought I would start off the video with like my scruffy hair like how I've just left it my face might be a little bit red because I've just done a workout a cardio workout so um great but I thought yeah I would film this video now whilst I've still got a little bit of light left from the outside even though there's loads of black clouds but yeah it's about like four o'clock I think yeah, about four o'clock. I'm now gonna crack on and do my makeup. It's basically what I would do on a day-to-day -day basis for my makeup. I'm the kind of person where I will either just wear no makeup, like I have been doing the past few days, or I will just do every single step that I would normally do. I don't really have like a minimal makeup day. And if I do, it tends to be just doing my eyebrows and that's it. Well, let's crack on into the video. So first of all, I'm gonna take my hair down. Be gentle. I feel like I don't brush my hair gentle enough because um, I have like really short pieces of hair on my head and I think I may have ripped them from br brushing my hair too harshly because um, I have a hairbrush that was sent to me that basically it doesn't hurt when you brush through your hair so it so I don't feel it like tearing um, so that's not good um, but yeah I'm just gonna be like a little bit more gentle and then I've got to pop a little headband on you know I've literally taken my hair down just to pop a headband on I might as well just kept it tied up but this is what I do, so don't judge. All right, let's uh, zoom you in. So the first step of my makeup is always to prime. So I'm gonna use my AOA Studio Hydrating Face Primer. <laughs> And then to also prime, I'm gonna use the A Plus Primer Spray just because it's nice and cooling and my face feels really warm at the minute. So yeah, that's why it's a bit red. Do I do my eyes first? Actually, recently I haven't been doing my eyes first. So I'm not gonna do my eyes first. So either for foundation, I will mix these two together, which is the Maybelline Superstay one and a Rimmel foundation or just use this AOA studio one this is for like everyday wear and this one's for like if I happen to leave the house for whatever reason just because this is like more kind of better coverage but I think just for the sake of this video and also just because I'm not actually going anywhere today I'm going to use this one so I know you've seen me use this before if you've watched my videos previously but we're going to use it in this video because that's what I would do if I was staying at home so I'm not going to take too much of it I think I might have taken too much again like I did last time in the video where I did a wear test of that product, but so I've taken about that much. And I'm just gonna pop it on my face. I feel like this product can actually be a little bit cakey, so I try not to, you know, pop too much on. Maybe I'll take a little bit down my neck just so that I can not use too much on my face. And I'm just gonna use this brush to blend it in. I will either use a beauty blender or a brush. I tend to use a brush on like a day-to-day -day basis because I feel like it's just a little bit quicker. Um, but when I want like a really nice finish to the skin, I will use a beauty blender. <laughs> that's foundation just about done if it's not too blended that's because I can't see too close up with my mirror my, my mirror is quite far away from me so if it's a little bit cakey I can't really see that too well also um I what I would normally do is if I'm going on a night out or anything I would normally do my eyes first just in case I get fallout today I'm going to be using the Nikki tutorials palette so hopefully there won't be too much fallout Right, here we have the AOA Studio Liquid Concealer and I'm just taking a little bit of that on the back of my hand and I'm just going to pop it in the places of my face where I would like to highlight. So underneath my eyes, my forehead, my nose and kind of like my chin. I don't use concealer for like um, concealing spots or anything because I don't care about them and plus they get pretty much concealed anyway by the foundation. Do you want to poke myself in the eye? <laughs> is blended in I'm now going to contour I'm gonna use a cream contour every day because I'm not used to cream contouring I keep forgetting to do it and it's really annoying me because I want a cream contour so again this is from AOA studio um, it's just a contour stick in the shade earth and I'm just gonna pop 
a few kind of dots up the side of my face and then take this kind of like angled brush and just kind of blend that in. This is actually a really nice brush, blending that in. Honestly, I've had this brush for absolute years. And then just do that to both sides. I don't put the contour on or in all the areas and then blend it out after. I kind of do little step-by-step -step in sections just in case it like dries down or anything. Um, so just gonna blend that in. It looks quite dark on the camera. Actually, it looks quite dark in real life. Oops. I put too much on. Yeah, we'll live with it. And then a little bit under the jawline. And that is it for cream contour. I will be using a little bit of contour powder after I powdered down my nose and stuff. I just don't like the look of this when I contour my nose. Um, I think it looks kind of muddy, so yeah. But it looks kind of nice like in the jawline and stuff like that. I'm now using the AOA Studio Finishing Press Powder. You may realize that I have a lot of products from them. I did a haul from Shop Miss A and that's where this brand is from. And yeah, I've been using the products in my day-to-day -day routine. They're really good. I was very impressed with them. I think the only product that, you know, is not the greatest is the foundation. And I've got it on today. I still wear it. I really like their products and it's super cheap. So I'm just going to mattify everything down. So I'm now just going to contour kind of underneath my lip and down the side of my nose using this sleek contour palette, which is very old. I'll try and keep it quite subtle. I'm now going to be applying my bronzer. This is the Collection Bronze Glow Matte Bronzer. I have repurchased this several times. I do quite like it, you know. I suppose it's nothing special, but it's nice. I think I just popped a bit too much on there. Oh my God, can you see that? Oops. We can rectify it by making everywhere else look exactly the same and then it won't look as bad, I think. I'm now gonna take this blusher from Beauty Bay. I think it's Beauty Bay's own brand and it's in the shade Coral. And this is quite like a darky kind of ready, kind of peachy, corally, shade i don't know it's quite nice i either go for like super peachy toned blushes or like i do quite like this one my hair's so annoying um and i tend to apply it like up the top of my um cheekbone a lot of people have been doing that recently because they say it lifts your face i've always done this since i first started applying my makeup and blusher i've always applied it here rather than on the apples of your cheeks um so you know i set the trend <laughs> i'm joking i didn't but I did do it before everyone started saying it was a trend. So I'm now gonna highlight using this AOA Studio Cream Highlighter. I either use this or I use a powder highlighter that I've got. When I'm like days at home kind of thing, I will use this. But when I'm going out on a night out or something, not that I've been on many since the beer garden's been opening, but when I do, I will use powder. So I'm just gonna dab my finger in this because it literally picks up so much product and pop it on my face. I think the problem with this product is that it can actually take a little bit of your foundation off. So you do have to be quite careful with it. But yeah, it's really, really iridescent. And it especially likes to take product off your nose for some reason. My legs are a bit numb, quick two minute break. So I'm now gonna do my eyebrows and I will draw you in a little bit closer so that you can see a little bit better. Okay, now we're too close, let's carry on so i have this brow pencil which is from aoa studio again obviously and i love this i will 100 percent be rebuying this again it has a spoolie on one side so i'm just going to kind of brush through my brows and just kind of pull the hairs upwards a little bit and on the other side it has a pencil so that means that it's kind of like a two-in-one great especially because it's less than a pound and then the other side like i said is a pencil and I'm just going to use that just to kind of lightly fill in my brows. I kind of am liking like the natural eyebrow look. So I just want to be rough with what I'm doing. I don't want to be too precise. Apart from when I do the tail, which I'm doing now, um, I will be a little bit more precise. But I just don't want to think about it too much because I think sometimes my brows can take me, you know, the longest amount of time and it just annoys me. So that's basically that one done. Quickly move on to the other one. And I would also like to remind you that, again, my mirror is far away, so I can't see too good. And I think this eyebrow is going a little bit terrible, but yeah. 
I'm not going out anywhere. That's my eyebrows done. I'm pretty happy with those. Um, oh, actually, there is a brow gel that I have. This is also from AOA Studio. I would like to tell you that it's not very good. There's literally like zero product in here, like literally. Um, but I'm gonna carry on using it because, you know, it's just one of those things, the placebo effect. But there is basically not much in this at all, considering it's supposed to be a brand new product. Good job that it was literally 50p. Now for eyeshadow. So I'm gonna use this palette from um, like the Nikki Tutorials palette with Beauty Bay and I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna go for something quite simple. I think, I'm not sure. This is like my everyday palette. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this shade, pop it on my lids. As a transition shade, I'm gonna take a little bit of this one. your fingers with these shades because they will apply so much better but because I've got my nails on I'll probably stab myself in the eye I'm gonna take a little kind of flat brush now I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade ivy which is this shiny one here and the only reason for that is is because this is the shade that I do normally go for I try when I do my makeup to do like different you know eye looks and use different colors but if I'm gonna you know go for like a well trusted shade it will be that one in the inner corner and then literally anything else on the outer corner so it's like ombre and then just for the outer part of the eye, I'm gonna use this shade and it's like a nice little kind of pinky sparkly shade. And I'm just gonna pop that on the outside, just a subtle look, nothing too dramatic today. Just kind of blend that out a little bit. And then I'm just gonna, just cause this is pink, take a little bit of that pink shade up here and pop that underneath like the lower lash line like ever so slightly like really not much at all in fact i might take a little bit of that on like the outer corner just to emphasize that pink a little bit more and then i'm just going to use out of the sleek palette this kind of like highlighty shade just to highlight my inner corners of my eyes now for mascara, I'm just gonna very quickly curl my eyelashes. And I'm gonna use this mascara, which is the MUA Amplify Statement Lash Mascara, which I love. It's probably the best mascara I've ever tried. And it was in my April favorites. I don't know if I can do my mascara this far away from a mirror. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna use this lip liner which is from LA Colors and it's in the shade, who the heck knows? I really don't know. Perfect brown, perfect brown. Why can't I open it? Can't open it. Oh, there we go. And I'm just gonna line my lips. Not too much going on here by the way i don't put mascara on my lower lash line i just put it on the top lashes sometimes i put it on the lower lash line but not most of the time i'm then going to use this lipstick from the body shop this is the sienna rose lipstick it's a matte one by the way and i'm just going to dab this on my lips And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of this one, which is from Amuse Cosmetics, and I'm just gonna dab a little bit in the centre because it's more of a paler shade. Okay, now we can kind of finish everything off with a little bit of setting spray. My setting spray is here. This is the A Plus setting spray. So I'm just gonna pop a bit of that on. And, um, this is the finished look. So this is the overall finished look of my makeup. This is basically like my day-to-day -day makeup. The eyeshadow will differ daily, but everything else pretty much stays the same. I like to keep it kind of, you know, I was about to say basic, but there is a lot of products that I use, but the overall finished look is not like, like loads of eyeshadow and like tons of each product. Like 
do you know what i mean i don't know what i'm saying but anyway this is my finished makeup i hope you enjoyed watching this video and i will try and do more makeup looks in the future because i actually do get people request these videos despite the fact that they don't tend to get hardly any views but i like filming them so i'm gonna post them anyway but thank you for watching this video please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe for a variety of different content on my channel and i will see you in my next video goodbye